It's All the I want the lot for my Christmas. <laughs> I couldn't sing with you singing. It's okay. It's okay. Hello, buddy. How's it going? And welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, not the worst podcast. It's just the All Right Podcast. So, you see from the thumbnail, you see from the title of this video, it's Christmas versus Halloween. And I just want to say, I went for Christmas. And you went for Halloween. Do you now, have your phone with you? Um, yeah, I have it here. Why? For the poll. Right, so what we done was is that um, the night before, I put up a poll on my Instagram and put Christmas or, you know, Halloween. And we will look at the results live the at the end of this. What do you prefer? Yeah, what's the most popular one in, in the public? But we're going to give our opinions and what we like and what we think and so the likes of that. So, Who yeah. To start? Come here. Well, I can tell you one thing. I think you can start. I start because Halloween comes before Christmas. Yeah, but I'm going to literally say no one cares because Halloween is literally okay. just a thing that gets passed no. by. No, no, you can't do that. Okay, I'm starting first. So Halloween. Right, come on. Halloween is a very festive season. It is the start of fall. Okay, so you have your seasonal time of the year October, November, December a bit of January October is the start of it it's the start of it all it's the start of fall so Halloween especially the 31st of October Ihasauna as they call it in Ireland it is the night of creatures and ghosts and dead let me tell you something no one likes ghosts and no one likes creatures we do why do people dress up as them every year then why do people celebrate them and go out do you know the reason why people actually dress up why do you actually really don't know no oh here's a little story time right so um they say that on the 31st of october that it's the one night that the dead rise from the ground and um, so back in the olden days and um, what they done was is that they didn't people were afraid so they made up the idea oh, yes. of uh, dressing up in costumes to make it more to make it more so the yeah. dead doesn't know that they're walking with the living. Oh, yes, yes. I remember um, that now. And that's interesting. But guess what? Guess who what beats all that? No, no. Santa Claus! No, he doesn't. No. I'm sorry. No! Santa Claus is more iconic than Halloween. Santa Claus is not real. Dead people were real. Oh, my God! How can you say that? There could be people watching. Uh, Disclaimer. This is not for kids. Uh, too late now. Too late now. Um, Santa Claus is real and he lives in every single one of us. I'm going to tell you a fact. No, no, no. I'm going to no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you a Stop, 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 stop. I need to tell you a fact. But no, no, no. I need to tell you a fact. I need to tell you a fact. This is why we need two mics. No, no, listen. There, <laughs> this is why we need two mics. Listen. There actually was a guy called Saint Nicholas. Yes, I know. Saint Nick. I am Saint Nick Nicholas. Right? Saint Nicholas, you are Saint <laughs> Nicholas. He actually, right? There was a town, a little small town. Don't know where it is. We can actually look it up, right? He was a carpenter and he used to make wooden toys for kids. Yeah, I know this. Right, and when he passed, he kept the tradition, the tradition going. I want to see how long Christmas. Come on, but wait, talking Hall- about it. Halloween. Coming back to Halloween. Right? You talked to Mike. I did because you were giving it to me. So Halloween is like one of those nights where you can literally dress up as anything you ever wanted to be, and you can go trick-or-treating when you were a kid you got free sweets every year as a kid sometimes people will give you money because they didn't have any sweets so you were reeling in the money too it's a time where if you're in school and halloween falls on a school day you go home later that even you meet up with your friends you dress up in costumes get loads of sweets i remember the smell of black uh rubbish bins rubbish bags because we used to make our costumes out of that yeah yeah i i remember my black bags yeah yeah from christmas okay i have loads of story about halloween i've loads now you're looking at me going what do you mean black bag by the way because all the decorations Oh, All no, of that. No, I mean, now, I have you, good. I have good memories of Halloween. I have really good memories yeah, of Halloween. What I mean, but I also have amazing, and I'm gonna get to the best Christmas present I've ever received. But do you remember making your costumes out of black bags? And like you'd have, I used to have like a little witch's hat, and then I'd make a hole in the black bag for my neck, and I put it on, and it'd be a dress, and I put like a belt or something around it, and that would be my Halloween costume. Because like back then, the yeah, and back then there was no Halloween shops where you could go in and get your costume like it was like the Euro 2 shop and they didn't really have it and then as we got a bit older like maybe like 7, 8, 9 then we went out and got proper costumes and I remember I was a witch and I had this little orange dress and I had little spider web 
sleeves and a matching hat and then when oh do you remember those masks right from scream mm -hmm. and you press the little button and loads of blood comes yeah falling yeah, down the face we had right. them i remember one of them burst on me before and i got all the blood everywhere <laughs> yeah but halloween is the one year is one time of the year you can get free sweets even if you're an adult sweets even if you're an adult right and if you have a kid or if you're going you're bringing your kids to go trick-or-treating you can steal their sweets and get free sweets from them and pumpkins i need to say pumpkin where's, where's my pumpkins? pumpkins get my pumpkins oh my god see you have little i have a lot of pumpkins here right here's exhibit a pumpkin right now this is for the people that are on <gasps> my pumpkin Exhibit B. Hold the mic to your mouth. <laughs> Exhibit C. Okay, we That's get a nice, it. Wait, wait, there's nicer ones in here. All pumpkins now, are Now, nice. for the Exhibit people that are listening to audio, this must be horrible because <laughs> they can't no, see it. What are we on now? But remember, um, oh, audio look comes at out this. Monday mornings at 9 o'clock on look Spotify. Oh, that's very bad lighting. What is happening? There's our look how look at the colours of pumpkins nowadays. Right. Like back then, you could only Both get orange, a, a good old standard <laughs> orange pumpkin. Right. We but, get it, the oranges. But look, this one has little green specks on it. But okay, it. okay, and this one here. <laughs> Don't hurt my pumpkins. Right. You're hawking that, Mike. Right. <laughs> Give me here. I want to ask you a simple question. All right, and I want to ask you a simple question. Can I turn on the air conditioning, please? It, no, you might hear it. Oh, yeah, even roll down the window. This right, is there you go. Heated. This is getting heated. I want to say this to you, and I want to say this to you well, right? Right. I want to say this to you. When it comes to the time when you realise when you were told that you were told that Santa Claus was not real, or that you weren't allowed to go trick or treating anymore, which one gave you a more heartbreak? Trick or treating. Oh, yes. You are no, bullshitting no, me. No, I'm not. No, because that was the one day of the year you could come home, and I mean literally, we had a done stores bag, like a proper shopping bag. We had three of them each, full to the top of sweets and money and monkey nuts and sometimes some fruit, and oh, that was the best. When we, I, like, I figured out myself that Santa wasn't real. I need to. You're telling me. No, no, no. I, I am so. <laughs> annoyed right now you're telling me that Halloween was yes. more heartbreaking when you turn like say 12 13 14 you can't go trick-or-treating anymore kids like if you open the door people are like oh you're a bit old now for Halloween aren't you and they won't give you anything you, Halloween trick-or-treating only goes to a certain age Christmas no matter what age you are you always get presents every year the magic still continues but when you found out allegedly that Santa Claus wasn't real yeah were you not heartbroken? No, because I knew I'd still get presents. I remember, and I'll tell you a story right now. Okay, before we continue, right, I done a COVID test. Um, um, a very bad one. A very bad one, but I done a COVID test. Um, so we I'm trying need. Trying to look at the results here. Really. I'm trying to look at the results. Um, and we're almost there now. So we're going to show my results live on the podcast. This is the first time you've ever done a. COVID I ever done COVID test, and it was. <laughs> It, it was horrible. It, it wasn't done properly, and it, it was, it, yeah. Yeah. I done one too, and I kind of done a better effort than you did. Yeah, you did. I got the whole nose and the throat. You yeah. just got one little bit of your nostril. Yeah, but I think you have to do <laughs> that in order to, you know, what's what's the yolk? So, if we have two lines on the C and the T, that means you're positive. If we have one line on the C, that means you're negative. And if you have a line on the T or a blank slate, you're invalid. What happens if you have a T on the yolk? Right, it's there now. Go on, check it. Check it before we get back in. I know this Hello. is awkward. Oh, what are your results? What do you think you are? Stop. No, seriously. Um, I'm you had a little bit negative. Of, you had a little bit of a sore throat. I have a bit of a sore throat. I'm feeling a bit angry, dizzy. And well, I can gladly say you were negative. But that could have been... I'm negative. negative. But I only put up me one nostril. Well, it came back and said you're negative. Happy oh, lovely. Christmas. That's my own one. Happy Christmas! <laughs> there you go. I'm negative. Lovely. Right. Lovely. Great. I'm negative. Panic over. Right. Yeah, me panic's over, right? Right. So, I'm going to get into this and I'm going to get into this episode very, very fast. Yo yep. Think about... <laughs> think about... What would you rather? What would you rather? What would you rather? Think about it. 
Christmas Eve is my favorite time besides Christmas. You know this, every year since I'm a little kid, I get new pajamas, and it's the only time I wear pajamas, and I get pajamas, I get some hot chocolate, we have hot chocolate right outside Starbucks now, and the feeling when I was a kid, I knew Halloween was coming up and I was getting excited, but it was nothing compared to Hall oh, Christmas. And Christmas is now taking over Halloween. A lot of shops are now literally have Christmas trees up. We've seen the range have it. There's a lot of Christmas stuff in Starbucks. Halloween is dying out. Christmas, Christmas is a money racket. Christmas is a money racket. It's magical. As you said. All I want <laughs> for Christmas is... You. Think of all the ma no. Now I'm going back and forward Go Christmas on. is a money racket As you said They literally have Christmas trees In the shops now It's the 15th of October It hasn't even started Halloween yet And they have Christmas stuff It's a money racket It's the people of the world Trying to build in money It's like oh buy your Christmas tree now Buy your decorations now Buy your presents now You'll forget in two months time What you bought So you'll have to run out now Christmas Eve and go buy again Nicola Christmas is the most magical time of year. Would you rather presents or sweets? Nicola, would you rather presents or well, sweets? What are my presents? Anything you wanted for the whole year. If you were like, oh, I'd love to have this, and someone got you that for a present, you go, oh, like me with my lens or you, which are stuff, and you go, oh my god, I really wanted that. You didn't have to pay any money. Or would you rather go to a door and get fucking a few yoga? <sighs> Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? What? <laughs> I don't know why I said that three times. Do you know what? What for? Have you ever went to a door? And they didn't answer? No. What? And they gave you a fucking apple or yeah. a pear. Or an orange. Because, and, and it happens with a lot of older people who don't prepare themselves for trick-or-treaters. And they're like, oh, I don't have any sweets on me at the moment. Here's an apple. Or they might give you a five euro. There's a lot of times I got two euro or five euro. Because they didn't have sweets. Right, so you have money. Yeah. What, happens, what, what happens when all your relations come over when you were a kid and... You have a little Halloween party? You didn't even talk about the Halloween games. Duncan Apple, the flower, all of them ones, the apple bobbin. What's do apple bobbin? Do you ever do apple Is that when you put your mouth in No, you have a big huge basin of water and there's apples in it. Yeah. And you have to bob your head in to try did and bite the apple. Or did you do the flower one oh. where you have like a plate and you fill it up with flour like cooking flour the ingredient and you have to try and get like the ring or something out of the flour and then your face is full of flour no i've never done that i've never seen anybody do that in my life well we used to do it in halloween oh nice okay um yeah no come here i'm gonna tell you a story oh firm brack no i don't even like firm brack no, no, the idea of having a little ring inside of a cake that's cool uh, i know people that put uh money inside of a two euro and one euros and cake and bake and, it in the uh, cake and put it in the cake and Unhygienic, I think. At least the ring is covered in a little bit. That's not a bit of unhygienic, yeah. But yeah, again, you're gonna take uh, candy from a stranger's hand or apples that could have been in that fruit bowl for the last week. Well, usually all the sweets have wrappers on them or they come in little bags. I can't believe oh, you're saying wait. this. Do you, do you ever make up treats for Halloween, like for trick or treaters at the door? So what we instead of like having handing them sweets, what we would do is we'd get like. They'd get a bag of crisps, they'd get a little chocolate bar, they'd get maybe a lollipop and then like a couple of little sweets all in one bag and that's a whole bag of sweets instead of just one sweet. I would rather listen to Christmas music mm. all year round than Halloween music. Well there's not that much Halloween music out there. Do you know why? Because it's not that popular. Christmas music. Heal the world. No, Let no. them know it's Christmas time. Do you know what the classics of that? Do you know how many people came, to all the famous people that came to that to do that song? Do you know how magical That's not even a Christmas, Christmas song, though? Heal the world. Let them know it's Christmas That's the only time. Reference to Christmas. So it's a Christmas song and it came out with Christmas and it's a Christmas number one here every year. But it's not about Christmas. I, I, there's, you always see it up on Facebook and Instagram and social media right you always see people as soon as Halloween is over on the 1st of November people put up saying can I hang up my Christmas tree now Christmas is no longer just uh, 24th or 12 days before Christmas it's two months but that's a bit much for one a bit much what about we're Thanksgiving that's in November we're Irish we can still celebrate Thanksgiving we're Irish we shouldn't but why would you have your Christmas stuff christmas is the 24th 25th of december why would you start it in november i don't get that 
Yes, I, I haven't even talked about the Christmas dinner and the leftovers. Well, first of all, you can make Christmas dinner any day. Any you day. no. Yes, you can. No, you no, can. no, no, it's no, just no, a fancy no. Sunday dinner. You set the table with all the Christmas cutlery. Cutler, cu- what? <laughs> cutlery. Cutlery. There's another word I can't say now. Cutlery. The, the Christmas tablecloth. And. Everybody's wearing a Christmas jumper that I'm gonna start wearing this year. Oh, I haven't never Are you worn get it. one that lights up. You had a Christmas jumper before? No? Never, never. I've seen James have them before. Never me. I'm gonna start gonna getting get them. I'm gonna get one this year, and I'm going. It's just a magic. Like think of the films. Think of Halloween films that you really like. Go. Think of one. Like, Halloween uh, Town. Like Santa Claus film one, two, and three. Hocus Pocus. Um. Elf, an iconic film with Will Ferrell. An iconic film that I could watch every year. The Polar Express. Now, do not get me fuck. Do not get me started on the Polar Express. You every year. That movie, though. I all aboard. <laughs> Tom Hanks, a lovable man to this generation and generations to come and that have passed. Tom Hanks does the voice of the train con. Doctor. He does the voice of all the male characters in that movie. Yeah, all of them. And he's an iconic man. What about every single horror if film? You just clap your hands. Every single horror film that's out there. Scream, Paranormal Activity, the one you don't like. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Chucky. Chucky. I will admit, all iconic. The, all the um, Conjurings and the Nun and all those ones. Like, all the I, 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 I understand that, but listen... Halloween is the time for scaring people. Do you ever scare someone on Halloween? That's the best time. You to scare, scare people in general all I, year round. Yeah, but the best time is Halloween because people are looking out because it's oh, it's extra spooky on Halloween. And here's something here. What? Do you know why I don't like Halloween? Why? The older I got, the fireworks, the bangers. The fireworks. Now listen, listen, listen. If they're done it's beautiful. Properly, if it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. But when? Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. But when you have a dog. Oh yes. But you keep your dogs inside and you. They're terrified. Their, they're calm and they're. They can't be. They're, you, you, a lot of people have to give their dogs tablets to calm them down. Yeah, but that's okay. During Christmas, do you want you give your dog a little piece of ham, a little bit of chicken off the little yolk, a bit of gravy, a bit of mashed potato, not with hort. Dogs love Christmas. Putting a dog in a Christmas jumper. You can give dogs pumpkin treats. Can you? Pumpkin is very healthy for them. I We're love this podcast. Ham and gravy and mash, that's all. I love fat. this podcast. That's very fattening. This podcast, this very episode salty. is great. They shouldn't have that much salt. <laughs> well, I shouldn't. Ham and chicken and gravy. Listen, everything we eat, you're telling me they shouldn't have that much salt. No. You're giving a kid sweets that will rot that's its teeth. That's the one. If they brush their teeth properly, they won't. They will rot their teeth still. No, not if you brush your teeth. I know a guy that spent his whole c- credit communion on sweets. He has no teeth now. Well, he didn't brush his teeth then, did he? I don't know. Well, there you go. You're telling me you can eat all the candy in the world, brush your teeth, and you'll be alright. Yes, look at me. I have no cavities, and I have perfect. I need. I, I need. How many fillings do I need? Like thirteen. No. Yeah. You freak. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> you said it was like eight on the top and five on the bottom. <coughs> it's eight altogether. No, it's more. Than it's only two this side and three here. More than but you know why, kids? Because you don't when I was it. younger, yeah. Is my face actually red? Yes. It's a proper red. Yeah. Why is it red? Because you're getting heated. Why? I need to calm down. I need to relax. Um, yeah. The reason why, you okay, have I have to get fillings is because I loved candy. I love sh- uh, your, fizzy what's your drinks. Favorite type of candy. Um, my favorite, my favorite type of candy would have to be the fizzy cola balls. Bonbons. Do you remember the little red and white swirly ones that they don't do anymore? But would you get that in your bag? Yeah. Don't even actually. Don't even get me started about the day after when you have. We we got black bags and we would fill a black bag up and go back in and get another black bag. Yeah. Don't get me started when in the morning and you smell the peanuts and the rotten food in the bag. This was the worst. It was wrong. I think people give people monkey nuts just to how you say. Yeah, to actually kind of laugh at them. It's like, ha ha, here's mo- Would you do that to someone though? If what? someone was coming to your door doing trick or treating, would you give them monkey nuts and be like, here you go? No, um, <laughs> I would give them apples and bananas because that would be funnier. Nowadays, there's so many more better costumes out there. Some families go as like a thing, like you could be like the the Count Dracula and mm. the, the wife and the kids. Mm. Like you can literally be a whole family of people that dress up. Your family come around. 
You are all sitting around a piano. You are singing. That ever happened to you? Because no. it never happened to me. Um, Christmas? Christmas. That's from the Donald Duck movie. Yeah. Um, Christmas. Oh my god, don't get me started with Disney films at Christmas. What about Disney films at Halloween? No, it's not. It's not. You're telling me you have a be- you get a better feeling inside and through your body. What about Coco? That's a Halloween movie. Well, it's about death and the skull. It's a kid's film about yeah. death and the and nanny. It's about Halloween on the day where they all And die. what happens? The old man dies and he comes back or something. Spoiler. Spoiler. Um, but come here, listen. I strongly believe, we only have a few minutes left of this, we're doing a half an hour podcast today. Um, we still got to look at the poll. I, and we have to look at the poll as well, so remind me that. We'll I that str- 25. Uh, yeah, I strongly agree, and I strongly disagree, that Halloween is so much better than Christmas. Uh, Christmas is so much better than Halloween. <laughs> uh, Halloween is not as good Halloween as Christmas. Halloween is the start of the festivities. You have your pumpkin spice. You have your chai latte. You have your honeycomb. Who are you? You have your little marshmallows on top of your hot chocolate. You have all the, the cinnamon. Cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon. Cinnamon is... Halloween, it's festivity, it's autumnal. Right, 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 right. Now listen, we're getting on to food and we're talking about food a lot. I'm talking about memories. I didn't even My... think about pumpkins. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, Hold like... on. No, stop talking before I put no, my hand out no, my mouth. No, stop. No, I mean... You took a bag out from the back and started going, one pumpkin, no, I mean two like, pumpkin, I mean three like pumpkin. I mean carving your pumpkins. Do you ever remember carving your pumpkins, right, on the night before Halloween and you scoop out all the insides and the smell of the pumpkin and then you get to like throw the, the guts on people? Christmas crackers at Christmas time. Christmas crackers, you, you grab... get a little paper clip in. You never win. You get a I I it. spent last Christmas at your house. Yeah. You didn't win a single thing. Well, Me, your yeah. man, your brother won. All you get is a little paper clip or a little measuring tape. Or a hat. You get a hat. That qualifies that I'm the king at the table. <laughs> no, but you get like a little or a little joke inside of it. You don't get anything good out of Christmas crackers. I don't care what you say, and I will always say Christmas the memories of Christmas are so much more memorable than Halloween. Now don't get me wrong. My ma and da used to put up black bags bags all around the house. There was not one spot of the house in the morning, you know, a week before Christmas. Shredded and we used to have the best parties. My best parties were in Halloween. Mm. But I remember waking up on Halloween and looking down and me and my brother would be there going, it's only fucking three o'clock in the morning and my man and dad literally only went to bloody bed on Christmas, sorry, yeah, on Christmas. And I remember going downstairs and looking at all my presents and... Would you leave out a, bix- a biscuit and a carrot for Santi? No. What? No. You've never done that? I don't think we ever did. Oh my God, every Christmas you have to leave out a glass of milk, a biscuit and a carrot for Rudolph. Right, well you just told the kids at home that, that none of that's, that's real. That's tradition that you do. Right, listen, do you listen, have? I remember Did you believe walking downstairs. Did I'm sorry. Did you believe him? I still do. He still has the magic to everybody right now. <laughs> I I, know, I understand that you know there's a like there's a thing with Christmas and Halloween at around the same age maybe two years apart you get more from Halloween that you start to believe that all right this isn't real but as you get older and you have kids both the magic comes back yeah and when they have you kids your grandkids you will always so. I will agree that two of them are very special because yeah. there's a lot of memories you get. But Christmas, you're telling. What would you rather spend? Would you rather spend Halloween or Christmas? A lot of people don't like Christmas. Do you know why? Because, because because it could be a money racket. It could be a thing where maybe they can't afford presents, or maybe they could have a bad experience around Christmas time. It's it's good and bad in both ways. Right. Well, I want to say something. Right. I I think. I honestly think that we could have done a better job. I, I thought this episode was very entertaining, but Wait, I think we could have okay. had our well, points better. Right, what do you think? Last call, what do you think is going to win on the poll? I honestly think that Christmas is going to win. I think uh, Christmas will probably win too because more people... It's more... It's an unpopular... They're more well, popular. Let's see. Let's see what the people right, said. So we're going to do this now um, and we're going to show you... Now, uh, from next episode on, I will have uh, the poll up on the screen from mm. next one on because I didn't cop onto it. And tune in for next week. So we will put up the poll on Friday. We apologise oh, now. We we are, sorry, but we apologise now for not having an episode last week. Yes, we didn't get around to it. But 
so we do our podcast on Saturday so we'll have the poll up on the Friday before that so if you want to be in and have your say make sure and go on to is it your page Anthony? Anthony O'Reilly Jr. Uh, Instagram. on Instagram um, I'll put me and Nicola's Instagram down below anyway but we're gonna go now so which do you prefer uh, X was a Halloween so we're gonna press it are you ready? yeah right so okay you ready? what the people said oh Okay. Oh, that's okay. Twelve votes for Halloween. Twenty nine for Christmas. I won. That, that I won yeah. this episode. That took three quarters of it. Yeah. So seventy one percent to twenty eight percent. Seventy two percent. Yeah. Seventy two percent to twenty eight percent. That is, that yeah. is a bad loss. That. That's uh, yeah. Right, so let's see the voters. So who vote Halloween? Don't, don't say... No, I can say a few no, people. No. I can say a few people. So Carl, my cousin, uh, Rebecca, Lee, um, Bobby and Sarah. Yeah. Um, the Christmas voters then, who do we have? Man, we have um, loads. We, we have, have James in there for Christmas. Yeah, because <laughs> James, I know... James, we have a friend, Sarah and James, talking about a lot on the podcast. They're listening right now. Hello, guys. How's it going? Howdy doody. Howdy doody. Um, yeah. Sarah, Sarah is very mad in the Halloween. That's her season. She's she's emo. She always will be. Um, she loves Halloween. James, he gives. Even though James has dark humor, I I can picture him with a Christmas jumper, loving Christmas. Christmas is a more happier time, and we need happier times in life nowadays as well. And I just believe that this is my last thing to say before I am finished anyway. But Christmas, is, don't be laughing. <laughs> but Christmas is a time where. Everybody forgets about, you know, their worries and their problems for that them that day and they enjoy being around people um and, and getting presents and people say it's not all about the presents. I'm gonna tell you now. If you woke up with no presents on Christmas, you'd be sad. You really would. And there's people out there that wake up with no Christmas but presents but still happy. Want the presents of their families around the world. Yeah, well but anyway, that's my yoke. But yeah, so there you go. 72 to 28 percent accepted i suppose there's nothing really that could be halloween other than christmas i'd actually argue easter over halloween no i think we could do that poll no. i think we could and i'll take no. easter i'll take no. easter you cannot i'll take easter no. well i hope everybody really enjoyed this episode um we did we're both negative let's praise the god that we stay negative um take your vitamins vit- 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 Take your vitamins, get your COVID vaccine and all that. Um, yeah, guys, I know James is going to sh- yeah, bring this back yeah, and go medicine. and say, listen to your own shit. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching our episode of the RA podcast. We're really enjoying it. Sorry about, you know, missing, you know, it's every two weeks now that we're doing it. But we are starting to go and start doing debates mm. on this channel, um, on this podcast. I think... We, fl- we flow very naturally yeah. it, it, I think what we fight for and with the passion for it's better um, let us know in the comments if you want us to any other topics you want us to discuss what topics do you think we could we could discuss um, and yeah and comment down below your opinions on you know um, Halloween and Christmas and why you like it and why you think it should have won or uh, why it won or something like that but guys remember it's not the best podcast not the worst podcast it's just the alright podcast guys thanks so much for watching um, we're nine episodes away now from 100 episodes and on the 100 episode I have a special treat oh what's that uh, we can't tell them we can't tell them yet. Oh, Again. oh, lovely! Oh, I should have got something Christmassy. Yeah, where's your Christmas bird? I oh, sorry. Um, right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll chat you in a bit. Bye. Bye.